Hi, it's Heidi with Broadmeadow Farm and this weekend was moving day and we're actually just back at the house just to do a quick run through, make sure everything is finished and I thought I would take you on a last little tour of my garden. So early this spring we talked about how to divide perennials, how to clean perennials and get your garden ready for spring. And so this is what this looks like now that it's been a couple months. I've got a nice mix of annual larkspur, some perennials, these are some more annuals as well. This here is that silver king sage and so that is one of those that you have to make sure you stay on top of it throughout the season as it well spread. It's not a super attractive plant on its own but I love it for background colour and especially for bouquets. So the vegetable garden has grown immensely this year. And with the packing and everything, it did kind of get away from me and it's not as clean as it would be if I wasn't getting ready for the move. But let's kind of zero in and see some of the things that are growing. The beans are growing and today we're going to do one last picking before we turn over the yard. This here is the calendula. The cucumbers are just starting. Look at all those blooms. And here you can see a teeny tiny little cucumber coming. Bella blooming a nice white one. I like to grow them for the flowers but mostly the seed pods are super cool and if I can find a photo I'll insert it here as well. And these are those beautiful mauve colored poppies that I was telling you about in the previous video. Here you can see this is what happens when lettuce goes to seed. It's really quite tall and if you look in here this is the actual flower and that's where the seeds gonna come from. Even the strawberries are starting to come. Look at the size of that one. In a day or two, that'll be nice and red. That's it for this garden, and let's go check out the new yard. We're out here at the new yard. Thought I would share with you kind of what it looks like. And this patch is about three acres. A couple falls ago, I brought out all of my perennials in preparation for this move. Our next step in our project is to pick the house that we are looking at to bring here on the yard and then we will bring in services, dig the basement and all of the things that come with the new yard. Now because these perennials have been out here for two full seasons and we haven't lived very close at all, just under two hours away, this patch, my next project here over the next couple weeks is to come in here and get it all cleaned up again. We were able to come in earlier in the spring and do one major weed cleanup. But because it's been probably four to six weeks since we've been out here on this site, we've got a lot of weeds to deal with. So that's kind of this next couple weeks while we're waiting for house and permitting and all of the financial things to go. That's going to be my project. So we'll share a little bit more about what kind of perennials I have out here and what the plans and dreams are for this yard. I do want to share with you a little bit about what hail damage looks like. So this field got quite a bit of hail in the last little while. None of it to do any amount of damage to the crops, like the, the grain crops, but this is what hail damage looks like on the lilies. We don't have to worry about it too much because what the perennial is, this will all die back down to the ground and then come next year we'll have new growth and it'll be fresh. So stay tuned in the next couple weeks and we'll share more and more as we're working through this process and all of the fun parts that come with that.